Hi, it's David again with the Drone Sense customer success team. And I am back today with an announcement I'm really excited about. Uh, I'm here to present the enhancements and feature upgrades to our brand new Drone Sense mobile application in Android. This is version 2024.9.18. And I'm sharing the controller screen from my Mavic 3 Enterprise. And here we're going to access the settings menu in the Drone Sense application. And I want to show you how you can see what version of DroneSense you're running. From tapping the settings icon, you're in the general settings, and now you can see if you scroll to the bottom, this is the versioning. So you can see I'm running 2024.9.18. And what we see is here a tap onto the screen now brings up a box, and that is a basically tap to expose box as well as a exposure compensation slider. So I can move that slider up and down and have the full range of the exposure compensation. And I also just showed the ability to open the traditional settings and still adjust that exposure compensation through the traditional settings, which is really nice to have that dual functionality now. Now we are into the zoom lens here. And as we know, the 7X is the beginning of the optical uh, I'm sorry, the telephoto zoom path. Now, tapping the screen again, this will be the uh, auto expose. And on the right side, we have the exposure compensation. On the left side now, we have a manual focus slider as well, uh, which I really, uh, really enjoy having that, especially when items are just getting a little bit closer to the minimum focusing distance. Now, from here, we have added drag to move or drag to pan on the gimbal here. Uh, and this is scaled just wonderfully in terms of uh, having an appropriate amount of movement or speed based on the level of zoom as well. Uh, really enjoy seeing this in the Drone Sense app. So again, I'm giving some examples of moving that around and we're gonna settle in here. And we have also added pinch to zoom. So again, you can see the white icons are uh, the finger motions on the controller screen. So we've got the pinch to zoom, we have the drag to move. Now for that, uh, that gimbal movement, again, just creates a really great user experience to be able to do this. And I wanna thank our engineers for uh, really moving us in this direction again. We just wanna deliver a great experience to our customers. And here again, I've tapped the screen. You can see that auto exposure come up. You can see the exposure compensation icon on the right-hand side as well. Now, we are really excited about this feature. This is something customers have been asking for for a long time. <clears throat> we have added address layers into, and I want to be clear, these are US address points into a map layer onto the controllers. Now, the features that I just showed you are available to the current DJI, what we call V5 drones. That's the newer class of DJI drones, the Matrice 300, 350, Matrice 30, the Mavic 3 Enterprise series, and the Mini 3 and Mini 3 Pro. The address layer is available to all uh, drone sense users using uh, any version of the Android mobile application. So we're really excited about that. Again, I'm based in Boulder, Colorado, had just showed you some address points here. We're down in Denver, Colorado now. And if you notice the way that this is designed is it is both black and white. So this actually looks uh, really good onto uh, any of the base layer maps that we offer as well. The street view map, the hybrid map, satellite maps, and then the dark view map as well for nighttime operations. And um, this is something, again, customers have been asking for for an extended period of time. Our engineers have really delivered on this. So this, again, is available to all DroneSense customers running the Android mobile application. The previous uh, items that I showed, the features, are again only available to the current uh, crop of DJI drones. Now, here I have uh, basically showed that we uh, we have added the ability to access the radio settings directly from the sub menu in that header here in the Drone Sense app. So I'm going to go ahead and let this video play again. So what I did is tapped into that drone icon, which is the radio and video signal strength. From there, you can access uh, the radio settings directly. And there's additional data to help us diagnose and troubleshoot any issues. 
I also wanted to show that the QR code has now been moved over to where the cloud, the drone sense cloud icon is. That again is the signal strength of the controller up to our drone sense servers so that we have that as well. Um, the final thing I'm showing here is something that not a lot of customers know that we can do, that you can select a condensed telemetry bar as well, and you can minimize that camera view, uh, I'm sorry, the map view or the inset view as well. So um, we know that we have uh, a telemetry bar that does take up a portion of the bottom uh, video feed into that controller, and some of the customers, depending upon the mission, like to go in and set that condensed telemetry view so they can clean up and get more of that screen real estate back. So uh, this is an exciting release. It is scheduled uh, to go out here. Today is September 19th, 2024. Hoping that release is gonna be out today or tomorrow. And again, as always, if you have any issues or questions or comments or feedback, please reach out to any member of the DroneSense customer success team. We are honored to support the mission of public safety UAS operations. Thanks so much and stay safe.